kids, it's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me! Hold on. <laughs> and it's me, Carl! Oh! <laughs> yeah! It's so good to be back with you all today. It is good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. All right. Wasn't that so much fun last time learning about the two trees in the garden? It's so good. That's profound. Rev revelatory grace was upon us as we time traveled last week. Yeah, it really was. Kids, and there was revelatory grace all over you. There sure is. As you're watching and listening. Yes. Yeah, we thank you, Lord, for that revelation. Amen. So, I don't know about you, Carl, but I think there's some more important stuff that God wants to show us in the garden. So, you see what I grabbed here? Yes. Kids, remember what this is called, kids? The... You're right! The, the Logos! Logos. All right, this, this thing is, is wild. It's so awesome. So I say we just get it going, open it up, fire this time machine, and, and go back to the Garden of Eden. Unfurl the logos. Unroll. <laughs> oh, Carl. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Loading. Let the logos. Please confirm. Oh, no, no, no. Loading complete. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. and more beautiful. It's like always increasing in beauty. Wow. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals. Wait. The uh, hold up. Did you just say serpent? I did, Carl. Listen, the only time a serpent in school is like if it's behind like a six inch piece of glass. <laughs> was this serpent in a cage? No, this, was, uh, this serpent was actually in the garden. <laughs> but, but don't worry, don't worry. We're, we're going to learn more about what, what God's revealing here. So, now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals that Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? So Carl, remember we learned about the two trees. Do you remember that last week? Yeah, but, 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 the serpent is talking. Yeah, but, but Carl, the word serpent here, it actually, it just stands for the opposer. The one in opposition. So this is this is someone that that was in opposition to, to God's will for Adam and Eve. So it doesn't mean snake. No, it, it just means opposer. Whoa, whoa, like a snake-like opposer. Yeah, and so and so snakes as a creature, it's known to be kind of crafty. So that's what we see here, the the image of a snake and its craftiness. Whoa, okay. Yeah, and so. The, 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 the snake, the serpent, said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Uh, he's trying to get he's trying to get Eve to not trust God. Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, we, and we see here, Eve's probably torn. Like, what, what, what do I listen to? And this voice was speaking out to her. She responded saying, We may eat any fruit from the tree of the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit the tree that is in the middle of the garden. Right, because that's what God said. And now the serpent is trying to get Eve to doubt because that's, that's what the devil always does. It's trying to get people to doubt so that they'll rebel against God. Yeah. Why, won't, why won't people just listen to God and not listen to the enemy? That's right, Carl. That, that's such a good point. And, and I don't know. That's, that's what we hope for all of God's kids. Seriously. They would listen to what He has for them. And He has such beautiful, beautiful things for them. Yes. And, and He said, God said you must not eat from the fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. Die? Yeah, that, that's what the, that's what it says. Uh, that's what we see in our scroll here. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it, Eve. No, don't Eve, eat it. don't eat it. Don't listen to the serpent, a bad accuser. Yeah. Yeah, and negative Nancy, don't do it. Yeah, negative Nancy. We just... We, we just see here that, that God is showing us. there's nobody here named Nancy. And if there is, uh, I'm sure you're not negative. We bless you, Nancy. We bless you, Nancy. <laughs> this is Nancy Pelosi. Uh-oh. <laughs> just kidding. We bless you too, Pelosi. We bless you too. All right. <laughs> okay, so anyways, what was happening? <laughs> well, yeah, Carl. So so this is just something for us to see and learn from, that that if there is an opposition to what God is telling us and what God has for us, if there's an opposing voice or just something the enemy is trying to take away 
we should listen to that voice. We should listen to the voice of our father. Yeah, yeah. Now, wait, who is, who is this, this opposer, this enemy of God? Is this the first time that Satan is in the Bible? You know, it is, Carl. And wow. so he was actually a friend of God. He was a part of God's council in heaven. Wait, the, the bad devil was a friend of God at one point in time? It's true. He, he, he was. And, and he was actually a part of his, his council. He wasn't always a bad guy. No, he, he didn't. But he left his, his friendship and relationship with God and rebelled and came to the earth. Why would he do that? Why would, why would he leave God? Why would he leave heaven? Why would, why would, why would he leave the paradise? Why would he do it? Carl, that, those are amazing questions that I don't know if anyone could have answers to. Why would you leave friendship and counsel with God? <sighs> But, but we see here that he's, he's trying to deceive Eve. He's trying to deceive Adam and Eve to, to turn away from, from what their heavenly father has given them, what their heavenly father has asked of them. And he's trying to get them to look another way. I think all children need to know that yes, there's a good God. We believe that. Yeah. We know that. We have the Bible. We learn about him in Sunday school. But sometimes, sometimes we don't talk about a bad devil, yeah. you know? And, and, and not that we should overly talk about it, but all children need to know we have a good God. Yeah. And there's a bad devil. Yeah. And that there's two voices, a good voice from a good father and a bad voice from a deceiver. That's right. And, and, and the God just doesn't want us to, to even listen to the voice of the deceiver. Don't even listen to the yeah. serpent. Yeah, don't listen to the serpent. No. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Goodness, Carl. Good. I don't like I don't like snakes. Me either. I don't like the devil. Me either. I like God. Me too. I, I believe in God. Me too. Good. Good. I'm glad we established that. I'm glad we established that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I could go for a blessing right about now. I go for a blessing, dude. Moses, you know what? We, we would love a blessing from you right now. So let's hand it over to Mr. Moses. And he's a blessing for us all today. Okay, Mr. Moses, to you, big guy. All right, Mr. M. Woo! I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.